Yo, this is your boy James over at Expecto Go bringing you guys the latest and greatest in Wizards Unite content. Today, uh, we're here to talk about the slate of events for the month of September in Harry Potter Wizards Unite that just dropped. And uh, what stands out from what I can tell is we're getting two events that's dropping Defense Against the Dark Arts books or Dada books, which is huge. Give me more Dada books. I'm all for that. And, and the brilliant event looks to continue on the story or the dialogue that is happening now with the first year of Hogwarts Brilliant Event Part 2. And I'm excited because we're talking about the Department of Mysteries, which is huge. And for, well, from what we know about Grimm and what he can do with the Calamity, this makes so much sense. And I cannot wait to see where they go with this story. So, yo, September is going to be popping, it looks like. And I am so excited. So, yo, let's dive right into the slate of events. All right, so details for the slate of events for the month of September, uh, courtesy of the Harry Potter Wizards Unite blog site. And uh, what's cool is they have the calendar, which is downloadable, and some cool imagery that you can also download as well. So, uh, yo, check it out. This is where we begin our information from. So, courtesy of Lola, witches and wizards. The calamity appears to be behind a surge of foundables from the Department of Mysteries. Casting enigmatic secrets from the Ministry of Magic out into the open, which is a problem because some of the um, some of the wizarding world doesn't even know what the particulars are going on inside the Department of Mysteries. That's the name. So if it's coming out into the Muggle world, that is a problem. So we got it. We got to fix this. So uh, it reads. Uh, your help is needed to keep ministry secrets safe and discover the origins of the mercurial motivations behind the calamity. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, in regards with the storyline, uh, your boy Grim, spoiler alert, uh, can control the calamity to a certain degree. And we're finding out from the current event right now in First Year at Hogwarts Part 2 that is based off his memories. And that is huge because uh, if it's continuing the theme of some of the events with the Calamity and the Brilliant events are based from his memories, yo, the Department of Mysteries makes so much sense since he worked there. That's where he worked. That's how he got used to time travel and like all of that stuff. So, yo, it makes so much sense and I cannot wait for the dialogue and the storyline to progress through these events, because it will. If they're utilizing this, it definitely will. So I'm super excited about that. So I talked about earlier the calendar, check it out. Moving down, the very first event for the month of September will be the Wizarding Weekend event, September uh, 4th at 11 a.m. Pacific time through September 7th, which will be that Monday, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Spend a weekend rounding up Magic Zoology foundables, including unicorns and Newt Scamander. So what you guys can already do and what I've already started doing is utilizing my Magic Zoology rune stones and trying to prestige um, and work on the uh, Fortress Foundables for those pages so I can prestige those pages. We'll have a tips video for you guys coming once we get more information in regards to this event. So that's the very first event for the month of September, which is next week. For the cast, we need werewolves. The full moon uh, in real life will be Wednesday, September 2nd. So in game, it's going to start that Monday through that Friday. So that Monday, August 31st, through that fri uh, Friday, September 4th. That's how long we should be seeing werewolves in game if you need them. Also, for the Death Eaters, which come via the new moon, that new moon will be in real life on September 16th, which is also a Wednesday. So again, Monday in game should be the uh, first time we see Death Eaters, which will be the 14th through Friday, uh, September 18th. Uh, which should be the last day we see Death Eaters. So we have our next event with the Battle of of the Department of Mysteries, Barely the Event Part 1. Oh my gosh. And uh, it's featuring, uh, if you guys remember from, uh, what is it, the Order of the Phoenix, the scene when they're in the Department of Mysteries. Uh, this is where they're getting it from, which is why we have Luna and Ron featured for this event. They will be the exploration foundables during that event, alongside the Tank of Brains 
and uh, <laughs> the veil. Yo, it would be cool if the veil and the ticket brains were uh, the exploration foundables, but I just have a feeling it would be Luna and Ron. I hope I'm wrong. But uh, that event starts September 8th at 11 a.m. Pacific time through September 15th. 11 a.m. Pacific time. Help return brilliant foundables from the room of rooms, including the veil and the tank of brains. Uh, the bird, one with the hummingbird, uh, the jar bell or something like that, I can't remember, but that's supposed to be the uh, time room. And with the hummingbird in particular, uh, it's a cyclical thing where the hummingbird is born, hatched from an egg, comes out, and then goes back into the egg. And it keeps happening because time is just displaced. You see clocks and everything. So um, that's what it looks like, but I could be wrong. Uh, but yo, that's the first part of the event, which is super clutch. Uh, moving down, moving down for community day, for community day. So uh, usually with the brilliant events, we usually get Dada books, all right? Uh, we have been for the past two brilliant events, the past two months. Um, we're getting data books for the community day for the month of September because they have it featured right here with the image. And I am excited because we need, we need more data books. So September uh, community day, all day Saturday, September uh, 19th from uh, 12.01 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. your local time. Uh, make sure your paperwork is in order and step inside the ministry atrium where you can encounter ministry officials, flocks of uh, interdepartmental memos and more. The memos is a big deal because I never see those. So, um, yo, that page is going to be so clutch and so fun. And again, we're being rewarded data books. Now, it might be just three or whatever like we did last time with the spell books, but uh, more data books is always always good and i'm never complaining about that but again that's happening september 19th which will be a saturday per usual moving down to the very last event for the month of september uh the battle of the department of mysteries brilliant event part two uh i see my girl jenny in the back and uh that's happening se uh september 27th 22nd um, at 11 a.m. Pacific time through Tuesday, September 29th, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Help return brilliant foundables from the Hall of Prophecy, including uh, Prophecy Orbs and Harry Potter. So it looks like since Harry and Hermione are front and center, again, they will be our exploration foundables alongside uh, Luna and Ron. Uh, just That's just based on my guess, but it's cool. We got a Death Eater in the back as well along with the orb and my girl, Jenny Weasley. And it's going, again, it's going to continue on the storyline that has been building up since the one year later brilliant event for the month of June. So um, I'm super excited to see what Grimm can do and why he's taking us to the Department of Mysteries and what memories does he want us to uh, go over uh, outside of just this scene from the... Uh, Order of the Phoenix. So, yo, I'm excited about the month of September. I'm excited about the events. I'm excited about the storyline. I'm excited about the data books. Uh, we got a lot. We got a complimentary gifts. I'm anticipating a update as well. Um, so a lot. I'm <laughs> expecting a lot to come through for the month of September. So, yo, yo, it's going to be hype. It's going to be hype. Uh, but, yo, that is going to be it. That is going to be it in regards to the events for the month of September. Yo, what do you guys think? How hyped are you guys? Uh, yo, comment below. Let me know. And you already know. Let's talk some Harry Potter Wizards Unite. But yo, I'm out. I am out of here. Thank you guys. I've put out like four or five videos in the past four days. It has been a crazy week, but not complaining. The more Harry Potter Wizards Unite news, good or bad, uh, the better. That just means more information and more time to get this video, you guys. <laughs> but, yo, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like. All of that helps the video uh, reach others like yourselves who are interested in the events for the month of September and want to plan and start preparing for it now. So, if you enjoyed it, drop that like. Also, if you're finding us for the first time, consider subscribing to the channel. Here, you'll be getting all the latest. Staying great. It's Wizards Unite content, uh, gameplay, tips, news, updates, uh, live streams, and vlogs. So if you're into that surrounding the world of Harry Potter Wizards Unite, consider subscribing. Also, follow us on our various, various forms of social media, Instagram, Twitter, 
Facebook, um, and a Discord. Uh, all those places you can get the latest and greatest in real time. And it's a great place to hang out and meet other fellow witches and wizards, particularly on our Facebook page and in our Discord pages. Uh, also, speaking of Discord, the Hive Mind. Uh, all those links will be in the description below. Check out those places if you just want to hang out. But yo, thank you guys for watching the video and hanging out with your boy. I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time.